My name is Anna Desmond, and I work here at Respondus. I'm a senior account manager. I've been here for nine years. Uh, I want to thank everyone for joining our session today on online exam proctoring and walking through how to use Lockdown Browser and Respondus Monitor for your assessments. The Lockdown Browser application is our custom secure browser solution. It's an application that was really engineered to lock students into their exams and to stop them from accessing other resources when they're in a proctored exam. It has a seamless integration with most of the major learning systems. And for our purposes today, Rutgers has a number of different LMSs that you're using there. So certainly we integrate with Canvas, with Blackboard, with Moodle. Uh, we also just recently released a publisher platform integration for Pearson MyLabs. Now, from the student's perspective, when they're taking an assessment with Lockdown Browser, Students are unable to access the menu bar or the web address field once they launch an assessment. And then students also can't engage in activities that will allow them to copy, print, or paste any content. They're unable to navigate to other resources, other websites, uh, certainly can't access other applications during a session. And they lose the ability to use things like their function keys, their command keys, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, Lockdown Browser was truly engineered to lock students into their assessments so that they would not, or so that your academic integrity for those assessments would not be compromised. Now, from a Lockdown Browser perspective, it's an excellent application. It's been engineered. It was, it has been in use for more than a dozen years at, at more than or almost 2,000 institutions. Um, Lockdown Browser, however, when you're thinking about what it does effectively in those proctor types of environments, uh, in a non proctor type of environment, it doesn't address the student's ability to access external resources and certainly the concerns that people have over student identity. Um, Respondus Monitor was engineered really to extend the reach of what Lockdown Browser does in a proctored environment into those non-proctored types of environments. It's an application that builds on the Lockdown Browser technology and really extends the reach by using the stu student's own webcam and video technology in order to record them while they're taking their assessments. It adds automated flagging capability into the session itself and allows faculty access to some excellent information on the back end of an assessment really to see or to audit rather the academic integrity for those remote assessments from the student's perspective the, one of the benefits of using the lockdown browser and monitor application is that once you've installed the browser for lockdown browser it has all the technology in it that the student requires in order to use monitor for their assessments as well it's very simple to use from within the framework of your LMS, once the student launches their assessment that has the requirement for both applications, then it's just a matter of selecting the assessment. And once they select their assessment, the assessment will open up. If you could please advance. It will provide them with an icon that would let them know that they're taking their assessment now with that secure browser solution. And then once that assessment loads, it will immediately launch what we refer to as a startup sequence. Now, the startup sequence is a series of events that the instructor elects to use for the assessment. What's particularly nice about the startup sequence is that even when the student is engaged in beginning their experience using the applications, what you'll find is they also have assistance from respondent support up until the time that they launch their assessment. So if there's a concern about what if the student has questions and how do we get them the proper type of assistance, You'll notice on the bottom right hand corner, there's also some nice troubleshooting that's available to students. So if they are having any difficulty, they can either walk through the basic troubleshooting or once they advance beyond the basic troubleshooting, they also have access to our 24 seven live chat respondent support staff. So students will have assistance up until the point that they begin their assessment. But once their assessment launches, uh, the student then at that point does not have access to anyone else. So again, coming back to the academic, academic integrity piece, it does allow the student really, or the faculty member, the security and understanding that the student is truly in their assessment, taking their assessment without the benefit of any outside assistance. And if you could please advance. So once the experience begins for the student, the student is now mirroring the experience that faculty have outlined for them when they set up their assessments. So the students, you'll notice in this screenshot, they were required to walk through an environment check. They're required to take a photo. They're required, the steps that are required of them are the steps that as an instructor, I added for this particular assessment. Once they advance beyond these steps, it, thank you. 
they are launched into the Canvas assessment itself. And then everything we walk through from a lockdown browser perspective in terms of the assessment requirements and the fact that students can't navigate to other resources, all of those items still hold true. But in addition, in the top right hand corner, what you'd note is that the, there's a message that indicates to the student that they are being recorded during their session. The only other thing the student is experiencing at this point is that their webcam is flashing green. So from the student's perspective, it's not an intrusive environment. There's no picture in picture. It's a very calm, very seamless environment for the student. Now, from the instructor's perspective, just in terms of adding the requirements and working with the LMS, uh, one of the biggest benefits of using the application that it is truly seamless for faculty. All of the work that faculty are doing are done within the perspective of Canvas. So from a Canvas perspective, when you initially launch Lockdown Browser and select the link, what populates for the faculty member are a wealth of in-app resources. So from within the in-app resources, you can see that there are video tutorials, there are links to prescripted course syllabus information, there's links to quick start guides, both from the student and the instructor perspective. Now, the way our welcome screen, welcome screen has been engineered is that it is universal and available in all of the LMSs that we support for Lockdown Browser and Monitor. You'll also notice that there's a link or a tab all the way to the right, and it's a settings tab. Uh, that area will allow you access to even the unique specific course code for Pearson MyLabs. So if you're a faculty member that has been waiting for MyLabs integration, that course code is available to you there to link within your Pearson applications. Once you enter the dashboard itself, this is going to provide you with a list of all the assessments you have available for use. So once you select the assessment and the settings option, it will then open up and allow you the ability to start adding your requirements for Lockdown Browser and Monitor. From the perspective of one area where you're doing everything, it's really important to know that from a faculty perspective, I'm adding all my requirements in this area, but then I also have an opportunity to review any of the video content for any of my courses in the same area. Here, it's very efficient. It's a matter of opening up Lockdown Browser and electing the option I choose to use. And then also from the monitor perspective, just selecting the monitor option and the pieces within the application that I choose to use. Now, once I've added my requirements, it's really just a matter of clicking save and close. Most in instructors don't spend more than a minute or so inside the dashboard itself. So it's a very, very quick application to add and to use. Now, once you've added your requirements, from a faculty perspective, your students take their assessments, and then you can navigate back into the same dashboard if you're interested in looking at any of the video content that's been captured for the assessment itself. So on the next screen, this is what we refer to as the dashboard and has a list of all of our assessments. Now, as a faculty member, if I wanted to take a look or audit any of the video content that's in the process, as I said, I navigate to the same place, but now I have an option to view the results. And once I select that option and advance to the next slide, please, this will allow me access to what we refer to as a roster. Now, the roster really was built to give faculty a quick understanding of what might have happened during the assessment. What you'll notice here about the roster is that it's providing me with a list of all the students that took this assessment, but it is sorting the roster by order of priority in terms of the flagging capability within the automated proctoring. The goal here is to give faculty more meaningful information. This happens to be a midterm. So when you're looking at the results here, it's going to sort by order of priority for flags. Once I select a video that I choose to take a closer look at, then it's going to allow me access to opening up that specific video and also allow me access to the information that's specific to the student in this assessment. What's interesting here is I have a summary, I have the ability to access the specific flags, and then directly below, I have thumbnails that are available to me that will allow me access to more specific information. If I needed to watch a summary of the events, I could certainly look at the flags. If I wanted to watch the entire assessment, I would have that option as well. The videos are stored uh, typically for a period of five years, although institutions sometimes have very specific time limits that they set for the storage of the videos. Respondents Monitor was really again built to maintain the integrity of your exams when you're testing in a, a purely remote environment. The combined solution for Lockdown Browser and Monitor are offered really to give you different options that might be suitable for you depending on your need as a faculty member. Rutgers University has a campus-wide license for the applications. Uh, certainly our technical support team is here to assist you. Your students also have access to 24-7 live chat. Um, 
It's a scalable, very easy, easy to use solution. The integration with the LMS makes it very simple for your faculty to use and then also very simple for your students to use. My name is Anna Desmond. Again, I'm a senior account manager here and I am your account manager. Please don't hesitate to reach out and let me know if there are any questions I can help you with. Thank you.